Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video I'm going to show you two websites where you can test your coding skills. First one is Code Wars and the second one is Adabit. I'll show you some pros and cons of these two websites, what you can do in them and also your opportunities in the future if you're using them for basically get a cho job if they're going to prepare you for interviews and stuff like that. So let's start with Code Wars. Code Wars is a, some kind of web game where you are coding to learn, uh, get a ranks. Basically, if we want to start, let me see it in the incognito window, Basically, that's where you start at Code Wars. All of the site is basically meant to be some Japanese style where you are earning or you are working on Ketas. Ketas are basically very, very uh, nice way to basically to fight against other coders. Kata is a task made by other uh, users of Code Wars to test the skills. You are starting at 8 level or basically Q and you need to basically work your way up to first Q. Uh, the, obviously it's a long journey but you are basically fighting everyone else and completing tasks, getting ranks and all that by just uh, coding. That's a very nice way. If you are into PC games and you like some uh, competition, this is a very, very good way. Not so great about it, it's uh, that it won't prepare you for actual interviews. Uh, uh, those tasks that you are completing, there's almost 0% chance that you will get that task at an interview. It just scrap of knowledge of the master that creating the, created the game and you are trying to complete it by yourself. Then you can get the feedback if the way you did it is the right way or there are a simpler way and stuff like that. So it's nice. Also, it's free. So this uh, website lives off of the the ads running and if you don't really want to see any ads it's just like five euros or five dollars per month to basically work on it without uh, without these ads so you just start by pressing or picking your language so let's go with uh, java and you have to be worthy of basically as in Japanese style, you have to be worthy of entering. So you have you need to repair this code and then just submit. Once it's done, you can add your details. So I already did it, and that's how it looks inside when you proved yourself to be worthy. You just start by addressing the language that you want to compete in and also the style. Fundamentals, rank up, practice, beta or some kind of shuffle. And you can start. There are comment section, forums, and you are just testing your skills. The other program is very similar, but it's not like game-wise. There are uh, two uh, two languages, JavaScript and Python. And then you're just learning how to do that. That's the first way. It's, I mean, it's for beginners. Or you have these challenges that you can work on. They are a bit more complex with algorithms, as you can see, algebra, maths, and stuff like that. And they are proving like is the fastest way to learn. So add a bit is very friendly way without any kind of competition to learn how to code. 
it's more transparent uh it's nicer it's not that really into uh like the hardcore uh, coding as code wars is because as a absolute beginner the code wars won't teach you how to code it's just for if you have some experience and you are a beginner but you already did it before the code wars is very nice option for you but if you have zero no clue how to code code wars is not the right way for you but the edit bit i would say it is you can pick your language and then uh basically you can watch a demo start with very easy tasks and uh pick your pick your start where you want to start to or start with the tag by tags you are getting closer and closer and closer to the to the task that you really want to work on and you uh, want to be better at and that i find very nice also you can go to expert level bishop challenges the physical code valid name and stuff like that so i would say add a bit if you're beginners it's a very nice way to challenge yourself and if you're more experienced and you want some competition go into code wars so that's about it guys if you like the video please leave a like subscribe or leave a comment if you have any kind of uh, questions so thanks for watching and see you on the next one